Okay guys, so today I have this game face sniper rifle right here. Now I have opened this box before, so I used it in a couple matches already. So it's not brand new, but it's the GF five twenty nine. Yeah, GF five twenty nine sniper rifle, full action airsoft, four hundred twenty five feet per second. That's 525 FPS. That is a lot. Adjustable hop up, which is nice, but I'm I keep it at normal because you'll see why. Like there's some meters like Now there's rails on it too. It includes speed loader, sling, cleaner, rod, and ammo. I lost the speed loader already. No idea where it went. Lost it off after a couple of matches. But I'm gonna open it up now. guys now if you guys see on the box here I'll show you it has the guy with the scope on it then it says right here right next to the scope very small scope not included now I have yet to order that offline but I could probably just go to Walmart and get a normal scope for it and here it is guys right here have a target set up in the backyard down there now to load it I'm gonna have to there's a button down here you press it and you take these two things and you just pull it right out pretty nicely in there barely even tell it's there now I lost my speed loader or else the speed loader is just like a shot I'm getting it just it goes all inside this thing but now I have to Load and load and load. Well, guys, I'm back. I got a pretty good clip. It's not full. I got a pretty good magazine, as I should say. And to put it back in, you just uh, slide it on back up in there and push it back in. And bam, you're ready to go. But you still got to load it and cock it in there. Now, this is bolt action. So right here is the fire is at the top push it down that's safety now it says to load it you're going to want to put it on safety you're going to flip it up right here and pull this lever back you slide it on forward and you're loaded now remember guys this is not a real gun they're literally plastic airsoft bbs if you want to see right here they're little bbs they're plastic now we shoot each other with these because of course they're airsoft and yeah well we're loaded now and I got the target set up down there but I gotta flip the camera oh no I don't actually just take this chair right here and it's golf working now just do the chair that's just party here's a freaking rock here we go a rock now let's see if you guys can Oh my gosh, we're gonna need another rock. It's gonna fall on his face. Alright, you can see the target right there guys. Now you can see the purple spray paint we put on it. It's just it's just foam. We put purple spray paint on it because we were shooting the shooting the crossbows at it. Jay, yeah. He's gonna try and get this out of the net. Don't hey guys, I'm back. Technical difficulties, but got the gun again. And Cole's out here now shooting too, so I'm just gonna shoot at it. I have the hop up up uh, hop up up right now. And I recommend that you shoot with heavier BBs than lighter, or else the lighter BBs they go like this. Watch. Oh, safety still. It went right over the foam. I don't know if you guys can see that. It went right over top of the foam. Put that back. Pull it up. There we go. Now, this time I'm going to put it back to normal. Oh, never mind. I already... All right. All right. Back to normal this time. I barely nipped the top of it. I nipped... I didn't even hit the target. I just hit the top of it. And that's aiming down. Oh, 
head. I hit it back. I hit the target. That. So you guys gotta arm, aim like a couple things down. All right. I'm gonna try and get some action shots. Here. Oh, that one curved up. If you guys are trying, this is not like accurate at all. But you guys are gonna want some heavier ammo. And that target is only a couple yards away. It's not even a, yeah, just a couple. It's right there. And I, it doesn't, it's not accurate at all. all right, I'm gonna shoot a couple more off and we'll see what we got. Oh, I think I just got bullseye on that one, boys. I don't even know. So here's the thing, guys. That's foam. The target's paper. It's on the foam. I don't know if it's gonna show a dent in it where I hit it at. Oh, way over. Oh, right below it. So you can definitely hit something. It's just not going to be, like, right where you want it to hit them. Ugh. Oh, that one went way over. Oh, yeah, that one hit. Are you shooting at my paper? No. Yeah, you are. No, I know you're shooting at my paper. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah. We're getting some hits now, boys. And girls. Oh, that one over. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see a couple of holes. But I know that that one, that one is a bullseye. I swear, man. Now, I know that I said to put it on safety. But if there's someone, like, right there, you're just going to want to hurry up and get like that. Yep, I'm out. That was my last one. I'm gonna flip the camera around and let's go check out the target. Yeah, guys, so back at the target, I hit it pretty good. I got one right here. I got one right here. I got one right here. I got one up here. Now, this is actually pretty good. I got one down here, too. This is actually pretty good because this thing is so inaccurate. I could probably hit this easy. But I was aiming for this thing. So as you guys can see, I was aiming more like down here on it too. And it, I had, yeah, you have to aim down a couple inches or a couple feet sometimes. But it's definitely not meant for sniping, sniping. If you think you're going to hit something 45 yards away, that's probably possible, but it's not going to happen. Oh, <laughs> look, I got one all the way up here too because... They went through. They're just stuck in the styrofoam now. Oh, there's one behind the target. Yeah, guys. So, what I'm thinking is, if I get some heavier ammo, and shoot heavier ammo, it'll work much better. Unfortunately, I only have 12 gram BBs. But they, they go up to, like, a lot of grams. But these are only 12 grams. They're just little plastics. Yeah, guys, well... That was it. This is the, uh, say one more time. Game Face 529 Sniper Rifle, World Action Airsoft. Uh, I can tell you how much it costs to tell the receipt right here. No! Okay. It costed 80 bucks. Without a scope. I don't know how much the scope is. Never even looked at it before. But that's it without the scope. And if I sight the scope in, I can get it dead on. But that's just with the plain sights up here. See, it has the rail for it, too. But, like I said, I could probably just get a $5 scope at Walmart or something. It'll probably fit right on there because this is like a real gun homist. Do you think they have red dots? They might have red dots. What? They might probably do. I want to put one on my automatic and my... Uh... Yeah guys, that was it. that was it. See you guys in the next vid. Peace out.